Hello. So let's have a quick chat about crisps because crisps are one of those things that everyone kind of seems to have a problem with. Once you start eating, you just can't stop eating them. And before we go on to kind of get some ways around that, um, it'd be probably good to say what doesn't work. So what doesn't work in terms of getting yourself to eat less crisps is telling yourself, don't eat them, they'll make you fat. So everyone kind of thinks that's going to work, that if you say, don't eat bad stuff, it will make you fat. That doesn't actually work for anyone in terms of losing weight or changing their diet because we're all too intelligent that we understand that you can eat something that's fattening and you won't instantly become fat. So therefore you do have time later to compensate for it or exercise. So kind of telling yourself, don't eat it, it will make you fat is, is not a way to stop eating crisps or overeating crisps. So instead, I think we have to go back to the reason why you want crisps. And sometimes people overeat stuff or they overeat junk food. And you can see really why the body had to force them to do it. So it really is the case that if we don't feed ourselves well, if we don't provide ourselves with enough meals and enough nutrition, well then our body, our kind of caveman brain, will have to jump right in and try and do it for us. So there's a reason that crisps would look better than a pen, because a pen won't keep me alive, but crisps will. So we don't have a nutritionist in our head telling us, hey, you need a bit more B12 or you need a bit more iron. All our brain knows, all our survival mode knows is, hey, loads of calories in them, eat tons of them. So sometimes the main reason we overeat junk food is that we haven't done a good enough job in feeding ourselves or hydrating ourselves enough that day as it is. So hydration is another kind of factor as to why we overeat or why we feel peckish when actually all we needed was more water. We just don't have a separate signal in the brain for that. So sometimes you need to ask yourself, okay, do I want to eat loads of crisps now because I genuinely need food? Because kind of crisps and foodstuffs like that, you know, they're actually a product of modern day science and marketing. You know, they've managed to make these foods that are the perfect crunch and powderness, powderiness and saltiness and fat and sugar content to make our brains light up. So it's no coincidence that these foods we want to eat more and more of, but equally there's no nutrition in them. So we never feel properly full. That's why you know, the calories in say 12 eggs is the same as the calories in a bag of Doritos, but you could eat a bag of Doritos and then maybe eat dinner an hour later, whereas you couldn't eat 12 eggs and then eat dinner an hour later. So we have to differentiate between what foods are out there for purely taste and what ones will fill us up and make us feel good. So I think sometimes we, we eat lots of crisps because we genuinely need it food. So when you kind of notice your, that pattern, you say, okay, do you know what? I need to go away and I don't know, make a sandwich or, or make a salad or make dinner or have dinner earlier because I, I'm clearly hungry. And then the only other two reasons you really want more crisps is either like just a reward. So either, you know, you're bored, lonely, stressed, you need a pick me up. And in that case, well, that's all about chatting to yourself about what a real reward is because you've been on the rodeo with overeating crisps and you can analyze yourself how good it makes you feel an hour later. So, so like I said, I'm not saying that we'll never ever eat crisps again, but I'm just saying they have their place purely as taste. But if we're trying to use them as a pick me up, well, then we're left with a bigger problem tomorrow or at the end of the week when we've, you know, created extra fat and we're feeling tight in our clothes and we're moving further and further away from maybe the diet or weight that we want. So kind of saying, okay, you know, I feel bored, I feel lonely, I feel stressed, whatever it might be, I need to go away and fix that because if I eat crisps, well then that's five minutes of a distraction, but then I'm back to feeling bored, lonely, unhappy, except I've added another problem on top of that in terms of not allowing myself have the diet or the weight that I want. So you can't really see it as a reward if it's something that's getting in the way of you being a weight that you're happy with or the health that you want or um or the, the diet that you want and then the other one is um yeah like i said i suppose a, a pick me up so the reward signals in your brain so you can't expect food not to be rewarding like i was saying at the start of this we know there's loads of calories in um crisps so you're not aiming for the case to be that you look at them one day and you never want to eat them again because 
the signal to not eat will only be ha- will only happen when you're very sick or about to die or something because unless we can tell what foods have calories in them and what don't well then we'll forget to eat and we won't eat so i suppose the idea of what i'm trying to say here is diagnose why you want the crisps first whether it's hunger or whether it's a reward if it's hunger go away and eat actual food and if it's a reward go away and get an actual reward and then crisps and stuff like that can just be the icing on the cake in terms of your diet it's not that you're restricting them um you're not restricted from them but you're just fitting them in nicely around everything else so you can enjoy them and then enjoy your weight and then enjoy your health okay so i hope that helps bye bye